Cześć! Welcome to my first Savory Bites and Tidbits podcast. You can find out more about this and my other recipe podcast over at savorybitesandtidbits.com. I will also be posting pictures of the food I create here today over on Instagram. Please subscribe so that you can get notified when I release these podcasts. Let's get started by using one of my favorite ingredients in a simple recipe. So today we are going to be making something that is really simple and really tasty. Scrambled eggs with mushrooms. Not just any mushrooms though. Today I will be using chanterelle mushrooms. Don't worry if you can't get hold of this. You can use regular mushrooms too. Chanterelles are a very special mushrooms that remind me of special occasions. If you haven't tried chanterelles, I highly recommend that you seek them out. Chanterelles grow in coniferous habitats near to sprouts or pine trees. They also grow close to oak, beech and hornbeam, with their season begin between June and October. Chanterelles range from light yellow to dark yellow and taste heavenly. The taste is mild and delicate, with a peppery aftertaste and quite different to your standard supermarket mushrooms. Finding chanterelles in the shops can be a challenge. I've not come across them in the UK yet. For this recipe, I managed to find them while traveling in Poland at the airport. A duty-free delicatessen had the dried variety and I was not going to miss this opportunity to buy them. You can buy the dried variety online and if you are really lucky, you might have them local to you in the shops. Let me know if you find any good suppliers. However, If you can find chanterelle to follow along with this recipe, don't worry, you can still use regular supermarket mushrooms, dried or fresh. So let's get on with the recipe. To prepare the scrambled eggs, you will need 20 grams of chanterelles, but you can also use other mushrooms, 3 eggs, 1 small onion, one tablespoon of butter, parsley, splash of milk if you want, salt and pepper to taste. If you are using dry mushrooms, you will also need hot water to soak them first. You will need the following accessories, a knife, a cutting board, two different sized bowls that we will use for soaking the dried mushrooms, a bowl for the eggs, a fork, a tablespoon, a frying pan and a wooden spoon for stirring. If you have got your ingredients and accessories ready, then we are ready to begin. If you are using dried mushrooms, pop them into a large bowl and pour hot water over them placing a small ball on top of them to squeeze them a little bit as they soak. Leave them like this for around 30 minutes and until the mushrooms have become soft. After 30 minutes, drain the water. Top tip, keep this water for risotto or adding as a stock to stews. You may need to filter out of beads of dirt first. I have a great risotto recipe that I will be sharing soon. Take the soaked mushrooms and slice them up and put aside for adding to the dish later. If you are using fresh mushrooms, clean and cut them into slices and pop into a bowl for adding to the dish later. Peel the onion and chop it finely, 
This allows the onions to cook quickly and infuse the butter with onion flavor when cooking. Crack the eggs into a bowl, making sure you don't add any bits of shell and beat the eggs with a fork. I don't beat the eggs too heavily at this stage. I like to just break the yolks. You can add a splash of milk at this stage too. This will give the eggs a looser consistency, so it's a matter of personal choice. The final piece of prep is to finely chop the parsley and set it aside for adding at the very end to garnish the dish. Right, now we are all ready to cook. Set your hub to a medium heat. Place the butter in the pan and allow it to melt. Now add the onions and saute until they begin to turn golden brown. Add the mushrooms, they will probably release a little water, so allow this to evaporate. When the onions and mushrooms are ready, add the egg. Give this a gentle stir so that the egg, onion and mushrooms are mixed together. Add salt and pepper to taste. Stir gently so the mixture doesn't stick to the pan and until the eggs are the consistency you like. I like a full set scramble eggs, but my partner likes them a little creamy. Pour your delicious scramble eggs over buttered toast, bagels or directly on the plate and garnish with the chopped parsley. They will look and taste beautiful. I hope you enjoyed this recipe. You will find a transcript of this episode, including ingredients and directions, on savorybitesandtidbits.com. I'm also going to be creating a set of collectible recipe cards that you can combine into your own cookbook. Collect this on the website as a PDF download. I will be publishing recipes every Thursday, so I look forward to seeing you then. Let me know how you got on with the recipe over on Instagram and let me know your thoughts on this podcast. Your feedback will really help me to bring great recipes and insights into food to you in the future. Smacznego, friends, and see you next week.